Now, these are some of the tools used by central banks to maintain economic stability. And let's start with interest rates. Now, interest rates is the main tool used by central banks, and it's mainly used to control inflation, okay? So if inflation is rising too rapidly, the central bank will increase interest rates. And if we have deflation, the central bank will decrease interest rates. So the central bank uses interest rates as a tool to control inflation. And it's extremely important that the central bank controls inflation because, for example, if there is growth in the economy, this will result in an increase in inflation and inflation can stop the growth of an economy. Okay, so if an economy starts to grow, if inflation starts to rise too rapidly, this can stop the growth of an economy. This can stall the growth of an economy which is why the Fed has to pay keen attention to inflation and the Fed has to use interest rates to control inflation. If inflation is rising too rapidly, the Fed has to increase interest rates to control the money supply in the economy to decrease the rate of inflation. Okay? Now, price limit is also used by central banks. For example, in the past, the Swiss central bank used the price limit to prevent their currency from becoming too strong. So at particular levels in the market, the central bank would enter the market selling their currency to decrease the value of their currency. Okay, so that's what we call price limit. And it can be extremely lucrative because as a fundamental trader, if you understand that there is a price limit and if you can get into the market on the same side as a central bank, then you can make a lot of money now we also have language and this is extremely important this is one of the tools mainly used by central banks okay and this is simply comments by the central banks that are aimed at affecting change in an economy example hints of raising interest rates or hints of decreasing interest rates in the past Mario Draghi of the European Central Bank made a comment that he will do whatever it takes to save the eurozone and as a result that caused extreme volatility in the euro okay so these comments comments by members of the central banks are extremely important let me give you an example of language okay this is an example of language that can be used by a central bank for example let's say at their first meeting let's say at their august meeting for example the head of the central bank says the economy is doing good and we don't see a need for further policy change. Let's say that's the language at the August meeting. Now, let's let's move forward to, let's say, uh, for example, the October meeting. Okay, now let's say if at the October meeting, the head of the central bank now says, we have discussed potential policy change. However, the economy is doing good and we don't see a need for further change in policy now these two statements are different and this can really move the market because at the august statement they never mentioned that they discussed policy change and now at the october meeting they disclosed that they actually discussed policy change so that's so simple that's how subtle language can be and it can have a great impact on the market Okay, so we have to pay keen attention to what the head of the central bank says. We have to pay attention to the language used by the head of the central bank. Okay, central banks can use language to affect change in an economy. Now, another tool used by central banks is quantitative easing. Now, quantitative easing is done to boost the supply of money in a country in an hope to spur growth in the economy. So they print money and they pump that money in the economy to try and spur growth in the economy. This is quantitative easing and in doing so, they decrease the value of their currency. Okay, so whenever a central bank is engaged in quantitative easing, we can really make money trading the currency of that central bank. Because quantitative easing will weaken the currency of that central bank. 